So how do you create a full book cover in Canva? That way you don't have to send it off to somebody to design it. You can design it yourself. And specifically, we're talking about a book cover that wraps all the way around, just like this book right here. I designed this book cover in Canva, and now I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step process. So let's jump right into it. So what you wanna do first of all, is you want to type in or search KDP cover calculator. I'll put the link below, but this is a helpful little tool to help you know exactly the dimensions and the size that you're gonna need. So we're gonna go through this. Uh, first of all, hardcover or paperback. I'm choosing paperback for this example. I'm gonna do a black and white interior. Paper type, I'm gonna go with a white paper. Reading direction, it's gonna go left to right. Measurement units, we're gonna use inches. Now the interior trim size, this is the size of your book. When you go to publish it in Amazon, you gotta decide you know, what is that size. So let's choose five and a half by eight and a half, which is the book that I just showed you. And then you need the actual page count. So you're not gonna be able to create a full length book cover until you know how many pages you have. And the reason for that is pretty simple. So that it, it's gonna be a wraparound image. So the image you're gonna create in Canva is gonna be this full length right here. And the calculator needs to know how many pages to determine this spine right here. And how much space you have or don't have to be able to put some wording in, just like this right here, there you go. And the way that we figure that out is real simple. We use this calculator. So we're gonna put in 184 pages. Once we do, we can now calculate our dimensions. So you can download the template, you can calculate it right here. I'll just show you, if you calculate it right here, you're gonna get all of this. Now, if you're gonna use a designer and you want to outsource this, this is what you want to send the designer. So if you don't want to actually design your own in Canva, like I'm about to show you, then this is another option for you, is you grab this information and you send it to your designer. So in here, you can see that it's got all of this information. And this is all good info for the designer. The truth is for you, if you're gonna design it yourself, this is the most important part right here, the width and the height. So we're gonna use that in just a second. But let me show you something else, is you can download the template. Now when you download this template, it is going to give it to you in a PNG, which is like an image file, and a PDF. So you can send either one to your designer. We're gonna use the PNG, and you'll see why as we jump into Canva. So when you come in here to Canva, what you're going to need to do next is you're gonna to need to create a custom size. So we're gonna create custom size here. Width and height. Remember if we go back over here, our width was 11.664. Oh, we wanna make this inches. That's important, so let's do that again. And our height was 8.75. We'll come back over here. Boom, boom, create new design. So once you have that, you're gonna have a blank design. That's all that you're going to have. And what you can now do, you can go to uploads. We're gonna upload the PNG version of what we just got from the calculator. And we can drag and drop this in here. Now, this should snap right into place so that right here you have your cover dimensions. Now, I'm gonna flip over to this one since this is one I've already done. And you can see here, this is how it looks in something I designed right here in Canva. You can use the text, you can use icons, images, upload your bio, you can do all of this yourself. Now. The confusing thing for some people is that the front cover is on the right side, 
and the back cover's on the left. That's just how it is, that's how it's designed, so keep that in mind. Now, you say, how will I know, Jonathan, which one, you know, where does it start and end between each of them? And the answer is that you want to upload some, you want to upload your, your thing, your uh, template right here. And then what you can do is you can drag and drop this and bring this up into here. And now that it is here, one of the little tricks that you can do is right up here, you have this transparency. If you take this transparency down, you will be able to see where the different parts and dimensions are when you're designing this. Now, there's a couple different ways that you can go from here, and I wanna keep things simple for this video. So we're gonna keep it so basic and simple. You can use rulers, you can do all kinds of other fancy things, but we're gonna keep it simple. Now that we kind of have this kind of bled through, um, let me actually bring this back up full to explain this right here. So everywhere in the white, it's fine for you to have graphics and text. Wherever you see pink is kind of the bleed area and you can have color there, but you cannot have text there. Okay, so that's really important. And then finally, one other important part of it is this barcode right here. You cannot put any text or graphic images. It's fine if color comes through this, but this is where your barcode is going to go. And so when you see, when I do this, you can see here that all of my text, if I go down a little bit more, maybe you can see a little bit better. All of my text and graphics all fit in the white. I don't have anything in the blue. And you noticed here, I did have enough room for the spine. So if we bring that up a little bit fuller, you can see if you do wanna put a little bit of text or something right here in the spine, again, this depends on how many pages your book is, you might be able to do that. If it's too thin and too narrow and there is no white space there, that means your book's not big enough to put anything there. All right, now one little hacker trick that you can do is you can come over to Elements. Uh, let's see, if we grab something like this and we come here. So we're gonna use this to outline, right? And then we can get another line, do the same down here at the bottom. And let's get another line. Let's see if we can rotate, there we go. We're gonna rotate this. And we would put one kind of right here where the pink is, do another one. Again, I'm doing this fast, so you don't have to sit here and watch me do this. And then maybe we wanna do one over here, kind of at the edge here. And let's do one more at the edge over here. Now here's why I'm doing this, because now we can highlight, if you remember our template, that was kind of in our way, we can highlight this template and uh, we can move it back down. Just kind of put it, park it down here. And now I can start moving these things around, right? So it's like, okay, let's get this back where I want it, right here. And now everywhere inside of, and you could change this color if you like, I don't really see it, you can make it white or we could make it red and make it really stand out. So you can of course go through and make all these red. So that really pops and stands out and you're able to really see exactly what you're what you're working with here. Right, so now you know where you can put the graphics, put your text. We wanna make sure we fit it in here. So this is all the front. And then what you'll do is once you have everything where you want it, you'll come back through. You will delete these, all of these lines. And then boom, you've got, in fact, there's one more down here. That's why you wanna make it kind of bright color so you don't miss it. Now you got your book cover. And now that you have this book cover ready to go, you can download this as a PDF because that is what you're going to need for Amazon. So you upload that PDF, boom, download the PDF. And now you'll upload to Amazon and you've got a great looking book cover. 
So I'm able to come in here once I'm ready to do it because I've got the template set up and I'm able within 30 minutes to completely create a book cover from scratch, download it as a PDF, upload it to Amazon. And again, the book covers look absolutely fantastic. And this was completely designed inside of Canva. So those are the steps. If you got more questions, ask them in the comments. I'll create another video. Uh, if you've got more questions on this and there you go. If you like videos like this, take a moment to like, share, subscribe to our channel and we'll be producing more in the days ahead. All right, we'll see you in the next video.